ChatGPT can be a really useful tool, but I just found something very alarming. I mean, uh, we've all known this. We've all known that ChatGPT will hallucinate answers and so on. But my version of ChatGPT, I have the paid version. Sometimes they will do, it'll do a split screen for me. It'll give me two responses to the same question. Let me back up. I am currently doing some research. I'm working on a project for Stated Clearly. I'm gonna be responding to Destin from Smarter Every Day who asked questions about bacterial flagella. And in particular, I am talking about a little motor that's a little protein complex that's in bacterial flagella. I do not use ChatGPT for primary research, but I do use it to refresh my memory on papers that I've already read. And I do use it to try and get ideas about which papers I should read next. And it's generally pretty good at this, but I do find it's fairly poor at, at summarizing research papers and like really analyzing them. I noticed this when ChatGPT first came out, but I thought that it had gotten better by now. It has not gotten better. Here is the protein, a simple model that I made of the, of the protein complex that I'm curious about. The most recent research says that it's a five mer. It's, it's got five little parts to it. I seemed to recall that a paper that I was going to be using in my video talked about it being a four mer. It just had four pieces. And I wanted to confirm that my suspicion was correct. And I figured instead of reading the paper again, like a caveman, I figured I'd just ask ChatGPT. I'll link you to the entire conversation. I don't want to bore you with the details, but I asked it if the paper used the old former model. <laughs> and it gave me two responses and it asked me to choose the one that I liked the best because again, I'm somehow on ChatGPT's beta testing list somehow. Sometimes they do this for me. And the responses completely contradict each other. One says, yes, the 2020 paper still reflects the old model. The other one says, no, it does not make the outdated claim. I just want you to know that ChatGPT really struggles analyzing papers and it really hallucinates strongly. Just use this as a tool to help remember things Use it as maybe a starting place in some cases, but do not trust this thing. Today is June 18th, 2025, and ChatGPT is still not there yet.